Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. Today's intro is going to be a little different than the ones that you have seen before. That is because, as you can tell, I look nothing like my thumbnail. And that is because, in all of my genius, I forgot to film the intro yesterday when I did my video. So, me from the future is going to introduce the video of me in the past. In today's video, it is going to be a learn to try a smoky eye in honor of narcolepsy awareness. A smoky eye is a great eye look when you want something that is very dramatic. This is the perfect time for me to do the tutorial on a smoky eye using black because the awareness color for narcolepsy is black. So I got to tie the tutorial for a smoky eye into narcolepsy awareness. And as you guys know from some of my previous videos that I do like to use my videos and my makeup looks as a way to spread awareness for different diseases, conditions, conditions, disorders, etc. Narcolepsy is one that is near and dear to me as my son has narcolepsy. So this video was just another way for me to help to spread the awareness while hopefully giving you guys some tips and tricks for creating that smoky eye. So if you guys would like to learn how to try to do a smoky eye in honor of narcolepsy awareness, once you hit it, click all and you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And so without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Let's go ahead and do this left eye. As you can tell, I haven't done it yet. I went ahead and did the right eye off camera first. I thought that it would be easier to follow along with the steps if you could see what the partial end product looked like. I hope that is helpful. If it's not helpful or you would prefer a different way, just leave it in the comments below so that I can try and do these tutorials in a way that helps you guys the most. I thought I heard something. Because this is a little bit more of a blendy, messy, dark color look, I am gonna do my face last. The reason for that is that it is so much easier to clean up any fallout eyeshadow if you do your face makeup last because then you can use your concealer, your foundation, to clean up some of the lines that you would like cleaned up. To start off, I just want to show you guys the palette that I used to create this look. This is the Tati Beauty Texture Neutral Palette Volume 1. It is one of my favorite palettes out there. I am going to be using all of the colors from each of the color families except for Ritual, this line right here. So we will go ahead and get started. I am going to start with Matte Poet right here. I am now going to zoom you guys in so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. I feel so close to you right now. I am dipping into Poet right here, tapping off some excess, and I am just tapping this in right under where like that bone is. I guess it's like the bone right above your eye socket. And then I'm going to use circular motions to start to gently buff that out. The key to a smoky eye is to start light. You want to apply a layer, blend it out, and start building up your layers slowly. And they do not have to be perfectly blended. I'm using a clean blending brush. This one is very fluffy. Next, I am going to use Soothe Matte right here. Oops, that's the bad finger. Right here. And I'm going to just tap into that and I'm going to lightly go above that matte poet. I am going to go back into the cranberry poet and I am going to go between these two colors back and forth applying and blending until it is built up the way that I like it. We have a good start for the blend so far to the point where we are ready to go on to the next color. What I want to do at this stage is take a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with Aura Matte. I'm gonna use this above the Soothe real close to my brow bone. This will lighten up the area underneath the brow bone so it won't look like the shadows have gone all the way to the top. And I like to come down in this area when I am using dark colors because the dark colors when you blend tend to go towards your nose. With whatever is left on my brush, I am just going to go back in with Soothe 
I'm taking a smaller blending crease brush. I am going to go in with Memory Matte, which is just straight up black. I am going to tap that into the crease because I want to start lower so that I can blend up. And as I blend upwards, the color will get lighter so that the concentration remains in the crease and not up toward the brow bone. And again, this is a process of building and blending, building and blending. Don't worry if when you're applying the memory, we will go back in with Poet and we will use Poet to blend out that black. And I will go back in and continue to build up the black and then continue to blend it out with the Poet. And if the Poet line is getting a little bit too strong, I will then go back in with the Tan Soothe color and I will blend out Poet. And then if that line gets too strong, I will then finally go back in with Aura, that really light cream color, and use that again. So I'm just going to continue to build and blend at this point. Okay, we are at the point where the black is blended in. I know it looks like a mess right now, so don't worry. This is the next step that I use a makeup wipe. Because there is so much on this inner corner here, I like to start on the top and just blend down. We'll also get rid of some of that right now. So once that dries, we are just going to blend this area out. I'm using the brush that I used the tan. And as you can see, it's starting to take shape and I will just continue to blend that out. Now for the fun part, the eyelids and getting to the finalized look on the top. I'm gonna start by going in with Memory Matte and we are gonna use this whole row of memory in the different textures. This texture, just so you guys know, is glitter. This is metallic, this is sequin, and you guys have already seen the matte. And this is what the different finishes look like. Glitter, metallic, and sequin. Just wanted to give you guys a little view. We are going to go in first with the matte memory. I'm using a flat brush and then I am going to apply that all over my eyelid. This is going to be very concentrated. We're going to use our brush that we used to apply the black before and just blend that out. You don't have to push real hard when you blend. It is better to have a lighter touch than a heavy hand. I want to go ahead and just go back in with the poet color and using what is left over on the brush. For the metallic shade, I like to use my finger. It's my personal preference. You can use another flat brush or however you like to apply it, but I am going to use my finger and I am going to apply this in all of the same areas that I applied that real condensed black. And this will look a little silvery at first, but then we're gonna continue to build on the black so that you can still see the sparkle, but it's still black. Okay, we're gonna go in with the glitter now. I'm gonna use my ring finger and we are going to apply this. This color is so gorgeous. These glitters are amazing. They go on so flawlessly. You don't need a glitter glue. This is where I go in with the memory sequin color. Now, I'm gonna do this on the back of my hand. This is a matte shade, but it has a sparkle in it. And that is just enough that when the light hits your eye, it'll catch that sparkle, but from a distance, it still looks like a matte. It's a very unique formula that I haven't seen before, so I always get really excited to use it. I'm gonna take another packing brush and I'm going to go in with the sequin, the memory sequin, and I'm just going to pack that over top of the glitter and the metallic. And this is going to keep a lot of the sparkle, but it is also going to darken it all up again. If you do not want the sparkle, you do not have to do these steps. Now I'm gonna go in with the big packer brush that I used first, and I'm gonna go back in with the matte memory. And I am just going to go all over just to darken it back up to keep that smoky look instead of the glittery look. This is a good place to stop with all the glitters and everything and to really concentrate a little bit more on blending this out. 
I'm going to go in with Poet and I'm going to go above that line and then I want to go back in with the matte memory brush and just blend that out so that it's just pretty seamless. And now I am going to go in with a very small crease brush right here. I'm going to use Aura Metallic and I'm going to use that under my brow bone. So now what I will do I am going to put on liner lashes and I'm gonna do my face. Before I go, a couple things. If you like this tutorial so far, or just like my effort at doing this tutorial so far, please make sure you give this a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. That's hitting that little red button. It'll turn gray, put a D at the end of it. You'll know you subscribed and then hit that bell. We'll talk a little bit about narcolepsy. I wanna give you some facts about that just so that you can become a little bit more aware and then we will wrap things up. So I will see you guys in what is a second for you, but a little longer for me. So just hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have done my face, put on some lipstick, did my mascara lashes, and finished off the top part of my eye. And now it is time to finish all this up by just doing the underneath part of the eye under the lower lashes, throwing on some mascara, and then we'll be done. Let's start by zooming you guys in. While we are doing the lower lash line shadows, I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about narcolepsy. Narcolepsy awareness is represented by the black awareness ribbon, hence the black smoky eye tutorial to tie it in together. While I'm telling the story, I'm going to go in with that flat brush that I used with the memory color in sequin, and I'm going to start that on my lower lash line. My son is 17 and he has narcolepsy. Now we are gonna go back in with the Matt Poet. Narcolepsy is actually a very rare disease. It affects less than 200,000 people per year. It is a chronic illness. It's also an invisible illness in the fact that if you just look at my son, you would have no idea that there would be anything wrong with him. There is no cure. You just have to kind of wait and see and try to just get treatment so that you are able to hopefully find a way to get the symptoms under control so that you can have somewhat of a normal life. The symptoms of narcolepsy are the sudden onset of sleep, loss of muscle control, muscle weakness, and muscle paralysis. What can happen is that while you are sleeping, when you go to wake up or something, you will essentially be paralyzed for a little bit. I'm gonna go in with Soothe Matte next. People with narcolepsy can also experience night terrors. They can also experience hallucinations and fatigue. What restrictions are placed on people with narcolepsy? One, you have restrictions on your driver's license that your physician has to sign off that says that it's safe for you with narcolepsy to drive. Other than the restriction on driving, the only two professions that a person with narcolepsy cannot do is one, be in the military, two, be an air traffic controller. I think I may put a little bit of matte story underneath the eye just to offset some of the red, just to warm it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going in with a little bit of Aura, that's the cream color. Now it is time for the inner corner of the eye and then mascara on our lower lashes, and then we'll be good to go with the look. I hope that you guys get at least some knowledge and are somewhat intrigued by the different diseases that I try to bring awareness to because the more people who are aware of these diseases, the more there will be a call to find cures, to find the origins, to find treatments that work so that people can just have a life that is not dictated by the symptoms of these diseases. Okay, here's my detail brush. I like to use a small brush to do this. I am going to go in with just a tiny bit of the Poet glitter right here. Oh, sparkly all the way around. Now I think I may go in with a little bit of the Aura Metallic just over top of that just to lighten it a little bit. It still is shiny in there even with the metallic over top. This is the final look that we have going. 
hope you guys like it and I hope it wasn't too hard to follow along with. If there are other tutorials that you want to see, just please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for joining me and until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.